Hi, I'm David with DB Construction. Today I'm here to show you how to install some really great vinyl products introduced to you by 6th Avenue Building Products manufactured by Bodo Plastics. If you have the right tools, it's an easy installation. Let's get started. Here are some of the basic tools you may need to install your PVC fence. You've got to level, a, level your post and your panels, string line, hammer, tape measure, I like to use a black marker against the uh, white PVC. It shows up better rather than a pencil. You've got an eighth inch pilot bit for ease of uh, setting your screws, your brackets to your post. The screws that come with the kit are universal. You could either use a number two square drive or a number two Phillips. For setting your hinges for your gate, you're gonna need a 7 16 uh, socket or I like to use a uh, driver bit. You've got your cordless drill. And finally, you've got a PVC glue to set your post cap. Here are some additional tools and supplies you're gonna need to install your post. You've got some braces to hold your post in place. You've got some stakes. You've got your wheelbarrow. You got a shovel. You got your post hole digger and your concrete. Always remember to contact your local municipality before you dig. Out of the box, your PVC post kit comes with one post that you can use for a line rail, corner post, or gate post. One cap, a set of universal screws that you can use a square drive number two, or a Phillips number two, and four mounting brackets. So now that the local utilities have given us the all clear to dig our fence, I'm going to show you today how to install a continuous line of fencing, which is usually a post panel, post panel, post panel installation. Uh, today we're also going to show you how to install a uh, gate in your fencing and the importance of always measuring twice before digging and installing your next post. First we want to start a string line from your first post to your end post. That'll help establish a straight line. Now we want to lay out where our posts are going to go, measuring the panel and the post. Always remember to measure twice. You never want to have to dig a hole a second time. Now that we have our holes dug, it's time to set our first post and level it. Always a good idea to measure your panel and whatever ground clearance you're going to need to establish the height of your post. From there, you're going to string a line from one end post to the other and set your middle post to that height. Hook the top of your post and measure down, allowing a two inch clearance between the ground and your bottom rail. Next, we will transfer that measurement over to your next post and install your brackets. Hook your bottom rail and measure up to where your top of your top bracket will go. And then transfer over to your next post. So out of the box, your privacy panel kit comes with a top and a bottom rail and nine privacy panels. Install your top rail, leaving one side slightly elevated so that it's easy to install your privacy panels making sure that you lock the panels tight and clip the bottoms in. And sometimes your last panel, you may have to trim to fit. Slide the last panel in securely, pull your top rail down and secure with screws. Now that we got all our panels set into place, it's time to install the gate. Out of the box, your privacy gate kit comes complete with self-closing hinges, spring-loaded latch, and hardware. The gate features adjustable hinges for easy alignment. There's your privacy fence. Easy to install and looks great.